What is up, everybody? How are we doing tonight, folks? Hopefully you guys are doing well. What's up, Ramsey? How you doing, sir? How are you doing? Oh, doing good, doing good. Just, uh, always before I go on live, I always try to go through all the orders to make sure. On pendings and stuff like that, or any, there's a lot of, uh, pendings I gotta switch up. So not unusual, though. I'm just canceling some of these pendings. There's always a few pendings, but we'll get there. Oh, nice. That's good to hear, Ramsey. As I said, I know uh, we've been getting quite a few of them back quicker than the uh, four to eight weeks delay. So I, I figured, uh, but Dan handles all the stuff that goes in and out. Obviously, I help package, like, obviously, if we pull them type thing, I help out with that scenario, but, uh, that's good. I am glad, uh, you got an answer. <laughs> that makes me happy. And not that it, uh, obviously, just to update you guys, I did get an email from MNT today confirming, uh, I guess they're emailing all the dealers, uh, stating that they're two to five weeks instead of four to eight now, which is phenomenal. So they're officially, uh, officially, I guess, announcing they're getting caught up now, which is brilliant.
What's up, Caleb? How you doing? So I'm gonna get the random ready for the ice break, folks. Thirteen, uh, sorry, fourteen, three, five, five. So give me a few minutes on that. That way I can get the randoms. And we can start pretty much right away. You got an artifact, so I'm guessing you just ordered one in, or I didn't see it like five minutes ago. So if you did, that's awesome. Like I said I will, uh, I will rock that out for you, sir. I was getting the first randoms ready. Good luck on the randoms, folks. 14,355. One, two, three. Copy. Post. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. We's got Ed Money. D's has St. Louis and Tampa. We's got Winnipeg Rangers. Gabe's Calgary. Blazer Boston. We's got Chicago. Jeff Montreal. Blazer Islanders. We Ottawa. Matt Scott Pittsburgh. We LA, Jeff's got Vancouver, Swin's got Philly. We's got Anaheim Nashville, D's has Minnesota, Keith Carolina, D's has New Jersey, Matt's got Dallas, Keith Detroit, D's has Buffalo, Gabe's got Toronto, Matt Columbus, Arizona, Swin's got Colorado, We's got Washington, Florida, D's has San Jose. Solid hits, I hope so. That is always a game plan, isn't it? Oh, I don't. That's pretty, uh, pretty bad game planning on my end. Chris, uh, probably once or twice a week we will be doing a platinum, just so you know, uh, for the next three to five weeks. But again, it will probably only be once or twice a week on breaks that are hard to you know anything series one stuff like that anything 15 16 16 17 now we're basically trying to just once a week have a cool break of something and then save it for the next week it ain't getting easier Uh, 14402, let's see. I think that's Mason again. Uh, Mason, are you in the room? Yeah, that's Mason's pending. Uh, he only checked out about 14 minutes ago, so. I Mason normally is pretty good, so I'm going to double check before uh, I knock uh, his out. Obviously, I don't want do to <clears throat> do that to him. He's always been very good to us, so. Yeah, I, I love, honestly, I love Platinum. I love everything about Platinum, one of my favorite sets. And obviously with the prices that are getting realized now for the uh, McDavid and Matthew stuff, it's awesome.
Uh, Glenn, I, I honestly, I, I have an email from them. I have not, uh, I have it started in my inbox to read tonight, um, to see what it is. I have not read it. As I said, I know they posted, uh, someone told me they posted on Facebook about, uh, I guess their cat, they officially announced kind of they're catching up now, which is phenomenal. Uh, if you want to give me a minute, actually, just give me a minute, I'll read it right now. Oh, I like that, okay. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, so it looks like dealers are allowed to participate on this. So basically, they're going to be launching this on their website as well as dealers can advertise this price. I don't know. If, I don't think we're changing anything. Because we pretty much have the same price <laughs> on our grading one. But and it doesn't say anywhere in the email saying I can't say this. So I'm hoping. Uh, it basically says a two-day grading. So. Yeah, so basically there will not be any discounts for pricing across the... Sorry, it'll be one pricing across the board depending if it's one card or 500 cards, so it doesn't matter anymore. Um, a two-day grading will be $39, six-day $34, and 30-day $26. So again, it's just going to be a flat across the board, it looks like on Monday, that a two-day grading will be $39. That's freaking awesome. Six-day $34, 30 day $26. So... It looks like it's across the board. They're not doing a 90. It doesn't look like, which is smart. I like that. Um, but it's, that's basically, I guess, what they're going to be doing through the site. So, I like it. That's really aggressive for the two-day. I, I like how they're, they're giving that opportunity. They also stated in the email, I don't know if it says on their Facebook or whatever it is. Uh, it does state that they are going to make a higher priority for two and six days. That uh, their two and five week delays will still be like kind of the two to five week delay, but the two and six day will be on the shorter end of the two to five weeks. So they're gonna prioritize the two and sixes even faster to give more incentive for people to do that. So I like that. Uh, sorry, one more thing. Let me see if I can read it. I kind of closed it. My apologies, guys. Uh, when does it say it's ending? Uh, it says we intend to keep this promotion running through the end of May, but may extend it depending on the success to maximize sales for all of our dealers. Okay, so there you go. No, 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 90 days is not going away. They're just not doing a sale on the 90 day. They're just doing a two, six, and 30. Honestly, that two day deal, if people don't jump on the two and six day deals, that's, that is ridiculously cheap. So kudos to them for doing that. So I'm guessing that's Monday. I don't know. It didn't specify when on Monday, but I just presume... Monday. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, I'm just. It's good that they're uh, they're pre, they're being very clear about where they're at right now and uh, that they're catching up. That's great news, honestly. That's really really impressive for them. That is good. So, anyways, there you go, guys. Monday. Um, I guess if you guys have a decent amount of gradings and you want to turn around faster, I guess through dealers, uh, I'll have to talk to Dan about that because we'll probably, we'll have to figure out how we're going to display that for you guys, obviously for the two weeks, if you guys want to do it. But obviously as a dealer, guys, we can help you out with that. No problemos. That is awesome stuff. All right. Just in time for, tri oh yeah, I forgot about the trilogies next week. Yeah, hell yeah, that's good. I don't think they'll get Metal Universe because if it's only supposed to be two weeks, that's only two products of the three, but either way, still great. Here we go, 14,355. We've got the three box double up of ice. Ice, baby.
So again, if any of you guys want to do any of those deals, let me know. We can help you out with that. That's what we do. Sub Zero Rookie for the LA Kings, Adrian Kempe. We've got an exquisite signature to 99, Brendan Gallagher, Montreal Canadiens. Brendan Gallagher. Very nice. We've got a 999 Maxime Lagasse. Vegas Golden Knights. Twelve ninety nine Griffin Milano. Vancouver Canucks. I do highly recommend anyone else who deals with the M and T maybe let your friends know about that too. Always help them out. We've got a premier rookie jersey of Tyson Jost. And I can tell you for us specifically when we advertise things, it's always nice when you guys share that or let other people know because it helps other people make decisions better. We've got a 999 Mike Vecchioni for the Philadelphia Flyers rookie. And a sub zero of Yarmer Yager for the Calgary Flames. Glenn, do you mind uh, if you can, or anyone else, of course? Can you let me know, did they put it on their Facebook or no? Because I know the email says that they will be uh, letting others know. I just didn't know if they actually have done that. And if you did, do you mind uh, just linking it in here? Or I guess you can't link it, can you again? Not a mod. <laughs> you know what, hold on a second. There you go. Congrats, Glenn. You're now a mod. You, you're here. You've been here long enough and been a good enough supporter for us. Could Chuck Orange for the Calgary Flames and an Ice Premier's jersey of Breeze Bois. You have been promoted, sir. Breeze Bois. Vancouver. Maple Leaf Screen of Matthews. And a fox for the Rangers. Three ninety-nine. It's on their Facebook? Okay. I just uh, gave Glenn the uh, mod status, so if he can post on here, that would be I wanna read what they said on that. Giroux Green for the Philadelphia Flyers. And we've got a three ninety nine rookie auto of Blake Lazat L A Kings. Green of Kachuk for the Ottawa Senators. And we've got a twelve ninety nine of Yo uh Luato. Yona Luato? Winnipeg Jets, twelve ninety nine. Oh, okay, but they sent the uh, they sent the email about an hour and uh, hour and ten ago, so that makes sense. Crosby Green for the Penguins, and a two forty nine for the Blues, Clem Coston. Two 49. Thank you. So I always like reading stuff. Uh, any updates that ever happened in the uh, in the hobby? All right, sixteen, seventeen. Popping. Not much, sir. What's popping for you? We've got for the Philadelphia Flyers, Ivan Provorov. Fresh threads jersey. Provorov. We got a 999 Chicago Blackhawks, Nick Schmaltz. Twelve ninety nine Chicago Blackhawks Gustav Forsling 
Sub Zero for the Vancouver Canucks of Sadin. We've got a World Juniors Blake Spears, six ninety nine. Blake Spears and I see a see-through card oh that's a nice one for the Rangers I presume this is short print Henrik Lundqvist there we go damn he's got to be a short print right Sorry guys, I'm just taking a photo. That was sweet. That was a good one, Long Fist. That was a good uh, three boxes. Very good three boxes. All right, so it seems everything's just getting better now. We got some new releases coming up. m and catching up. A lot of our breaks are filled right now. Is the whole world is coming together now. Now we just need uh, PSA and Beckett not to keep sucking and catch up. And then the whole world will be back to normal-ish. And thanks for uh, giving that to me, Glenn, the link. I appreciate that. All right, all right, all right. So let's see what is next on the list. Again, guys, we do have some pendings. I do apologize. I just don't want to cut them because I do know some of these guys. Uh, they're good members and I don't want to kill them just yet. So I do apologize on that. Uh, we will do 89. 89 will be the next one because it's a very quick one. Oh! Glenn, I can't remember if I told you this uh, or not, but apparently, and again, I don't know how soon or whenever it was, because I, me I remember we talked about this, and I, I, I thought I told you, I might be wrong, I think they might be moving to uh, not stickers in the, in the coming months. They kind of gave me the indication on that-ish. So... I just can't remember if I told you about that or not, but...
Oh, I did tell you, okay. Arizona and Columbus. I haven't done the randoms yet. I don't know if this is a break, but I haven't done the randoms yet. I'm not even sure what break, Matt, what break are you even talking about? So, 89 is going to be next. So, let me get this going. Yeah, I don't know what break he's, at, he's talking about. To be honest. Uh, Mason, the spots that you have in Series 2 or Series 1 break, did you want those ones, by the way? I know is they're pending right now. Did you uh, do you have issues on the checkout or something I can help you with? Here we go. Fourteen thousand three hundred and eighty-nine. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Bo Sox, Montreal, Snow, Carolina, Gabe, St. Louis, Slick, Ottawa, Cody, Islanders, Nate's got Tampa, Jeff's got Washington, Gabe, Dallas, We Calgary, Gerald's got Buffalo, Reese has Philly, Bobby, Rangers, Moore's got Florida, DM's got San Jose, Matt's got Pittsburgh, Mason, Vancouver, Wings got Detroit, SM's got LA, Gabe's got Nashville, Ryan, Chicago, Gabe, Ed, Money, DM's got Arizona, Jay, Shenya, New Jersey, Snow's got Columbus, Scott Boston, Nick's got Vegas, Bobby's got Anah Anaheim, Wee's got Minnesota, Johnny Winnipeg, Ryan Colorado, Adams, the Maple Leafs. I was gonna say Mason, if you do want them, just send the uh, send the one seventy two forty six, and uh, I can just mark it on my end. Oh, okay, no problem. I will do that then. I can do that. The only thing I was going to think about, uh, Mason, if he was talking about ice, literally Columbus and Arizona are two of the better, probably top ten, top ten teams to get in that. That's why I was kind of confused why he's saying uh, on that rig. Arizona and Columbus would literally be two of the top ten teams, in my opinion. Things are going great, sir. Thank you. Hey, don't be sorry. It's all good, Mason. I'm glad uh, you came on. I didn't have to cancel it. Had the MNT question. Fire away, sir. Fire! The monster is Sunday. Always Sunday. We post them Saturday afternoon. That is one thing, Glenn. I have also let them know their population report needs uh, needs some rework. The thing is, in all honesty, Glenn, and obviously we've had this conversation for my business, is with government lockdowns, shutdowns, 
I bet you, and again, I'm just guessing, and I don't think I can happily ask them. I'm guessing they're probably focusing more on getting caught up and making sure that goes first than the small other stuff. Like, I know for us, for example, if, if we've ever been behind on, like, sorting and shipping, like, I put all of our manpower towards that. Maybe we forget to do, you know, display singles or whatever. But uh, I'm presuming that they've been probably working on trying to get their gradings caught up because I feel like that's the most important thing for any grading company in general. But I do agree their population report sucks. And I do think it needs to get done, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it needs to get improved. I agree with that. Uh, paper German, but I'm not sure where it'll be coming from. Uh, Mark, I believe... I'll double check with Dan, because I believe Dan handled that. I believe we are shipping it to you. Well, Mario, what I, what, why I was saying Arizona Columbus, you're talking 17, 18, 16, 17, and, uh, and 19, 20. You have Dubois, Keller, Merzlikens, like... Literally, the 99 Keller is one of the bigger rookies in 1718. You have Dubois in 1718. You have Merz Lickens and Texier and uh, I think like four or five other Columbus rookies in 1920. Literally, and, and I know 1670 is not a big name, but Dylan Strom. I'm just saying Arizona and Columbus are definitely not two of the worst teams to get. That's what I was getting to. I just find that a little odd, but. Oh, yeah, Warinsky. I forgot about that. Is it odd for them to grade cards out of order that you submit for grading? Uh, Mason, I don't know what you're saying on that. So if you can maybe ask it in a different way for. I apologize. <laughs> Glenn, I agree with that. I will. Uh, I will mention that I always I always anything you guys give to me I always try to help out any company obviously in general so always feel free to give me uh, feedback guys because I do the same to upper deck if you guys have anything with upper deck I don't think you guys deal with universal if you do that would be a problem but if you guys ever did I would give feedback there the Adam Fox RPA yeah that's a nice one yeah, Mason, let me know what uh, what you mean by that, and I'll, I'll try to answer. But I'm going to do the high-end break now, folks. Let's get some uh, big stuff. Let's hope we get some big stuff. Here we go, 14389 We got the high-end. Yeah. And, I, and I'm sure that's probably what's, what's happening, Glenn. I'm sure the amount of manpower it takes to, uh, to do all those things, like, is probably immense. Hence, even PSA is behind, right? We've got a Luato introductions for the Winnipeg Jets. Introductions. We've got for the Montreal Canadiens, rookie auto, Caden Primo. 299, rookie auto. What's up, Golden? How you doing, sir? We've got for the Red Wings to 99, Ultimate Rookies Auto Patch, Taro Herosi. Uh, Mason, it could, it is definitely, I wouldn't say normal, but a lot of factors go, go into it. I, I'm presuming with the lockdown, maybe different paperwork goes to different people. I will tell you, they've told me this a million times. 399 rookie jersey Quinn Hughes Vancouver they have told me when people for example input the cards in their system uh, if they're inputted wrong that also delays their package manual orders delays packages so I'm not saying obviously we, we, we did it for you I think but it maybe just went to a different pl uh, person category I don't know that would be my guess why. We've had the same thing happen here. 
I, so I don't want to say it's normal Mason, but definitely, you know, not abnormal. Two ninety nine, Eric Stahl. No, no, Mason, I wouldn't be worried about that. I would definitely not be worried about that. One ninety nine rookie, Jack Hughes. One at ninety nine. Uh, Habs for Ontario Mail. We've had anywhere between four business days to 25 business days in the last about three months. It There's no definitive answer. To 149 rookie auto patch, Ram Pitlick. Ram Pitlick. Oh yeah, I love these cards. Premier Signatures for the Hawks, Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane, Premier Signatures Auto. But as I said, that's all the mailing system. It's not... There's literally no control on that. So you just got cards from the April 19th break. Yeah, so that's, geez, that's a decent amount. For the Anaheim Ducks, memorable premieres. Jersey of Gibson. Anaheim Ducks. And for the Penguins, Sam Lafferty. To give you guys an idea, I ordered a Matthews card on eBay. A nice high-end one. A Matthews card on eBay. I ordered it April 20th, expedited from Alberta. I still do not have it. <laughs> so, as I said, it's, it's just honestly just, just got to be patient on the mail. It's unfortunately, everyone's going through the pains. It sucks. I agree. But, uh, yeah, not very fun, is it? I can only imagine, like, on businesses that are absolutely reliant on fast shipping, how much this must, must be annoying them right now. They must be getting killed by this. We've got a 249 Nico Heischer. New Jersey Devils, Nico Heischer. Oh, don't worry, Habs, I would definitely not stress about it. 249 Loy rookie patch auto Loy Sterinen for the Ottawa Senators 99 signature patches of Shabbat Shabbat Oh, it's not a bad one. Numbered 11 of 12 gold base auto Patrick Wah. Well then, that's a pretty one. Patrick Wah, Colorado Avalanche. 11 of 12. We've got a triple jersey to 33 of Brandstrom Balsers Abramov for the Auto Senators. Triple jersey. And finish off, if you're going to get a base card, Connor McDavid. 249. Sweet. I am going to Instagram the Patrick Law. That deserves to be on the Instagram Hall of Fame. All right. 
right, well, I'm a decent one. Congrats to Colorado. Congrats to Chicago. And I think, by the way, B Golden, I think I'm at 100 people looking at my Matthew stuff now. Isn't that awesome? Look at me go. I was a bit lazy, I think, yesterday, though. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit lazy. By the way, if anyone wants to follow the uh, Matthews collection, that I am posting every day pretty much now, I am more than happy for you guys to finally see it. Because for all we know, I might uh, I might have to blow it up soon. If the Leafs go far in the playoffs, <laughs> that collection might have to go bye byes. Not that I want to see it go bye byes, but financially, it makes too much sense not to. So let's see what's next up on the list. The allure break. 398. What is up, Adrian? Adrian, did you get the golf box? Is, is that, uh, am I correct in that one? Did the universe just go full circle on that thing? So Allure is next. You bought the last spot and got it. Oh my God. That is one of the best stories in all honesty I've ever heard. That makes me so incredibly happy, honestly. That is too funny. Hey, if you want me to, Adrian, that's your call. I gotta double check what's what is today? Friday today's Friday, right? If they did it yesterday, yeah, I, I think it's here. I can double check, but if it's here, I hell yeah, I'd love to. That'd be awesome. Fourteen thousand three hundred and ninety-eight. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Coffee, paste. Jeff's got Winnipeg. Howie's got Rangers. PT's got Arizona. D's has Nashville. PT Detroit. Mike Ottawa. Wally's Vegas. Bar Downs. Uh, Ed Money. Tom Barrasso Islanders. D's has St. Louis. Patrick Philly. Espo Vancouver. D's has Boston. Adapt Anaheim. Tom Barrasso's got Minnesota. Davies got Carolina. GK Chicago. Shirley Boo's got Florida. Gabe's got New Jersey. Fell down well. Has San Jose. I like that name. Brocker, Tampa. Lucic, Montreal. Penn's, Dallas. Snake, Calgary. Brocker, Washington. Jofa, Colorado. Uh, J.E.'s got Columbus. Card Guy, L.A. D's has Buffalo. Habs, Daddy. Has the Leafs. I love it. Card Guy, Pittsburgh. I like that Habs, Daddy has the Maple Leafs. That's very fitting.
All right, let me grab these boxes. Boxy boxes. Let me go see about the artifact box. Adrian, we can get that done uh, tonight for sure for you. All right. Yeah, Adrian, no problem. Yeah, we'll ship uh, we'll ship everything out for you on that. Any uh, any trades to go, folks? Any trades? Three nine eight. And by the way, Ultimate's got five left. Spagoo has six left. Six to go in SP Game Use, guys. Let's get uh, that one going. And they're all cheaper teams, too. Uh, yeah, Adrian, no worries. I said just contact Dan on that. We'll, we'll take care of uh, whatever we can for you. All right, best of luck. 398, here we go. Here we go, 14,398. We've got the Allure. Top 50 of Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights and a rookie of Gusev for the Devils and a rookie jersey of Jimmy Schultz for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas Golden Knights. Rookie of Hayton for the Coyotes. Short print rookie of Texier for the Jackets. And we got an orange slice to 199, Ryan O'Reilly for the St. Louis Blues. Orange slice. Top 50 of Joey Decord for Ottawa. Blake Lazat, white die cut for the Kings. And a rookie of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Rookie of Brandstrom for the Ottawa Senators. We've got a Kachuk open ice for Calgary and a top 50 rookie auto of Blake Lazat for the LA Kings. Top 50 rookie auto, Blake Lazat. 
Rookie of Bastion for the Devils. Top 50 of Senishin for the Boston Bruins. Sergei Bobrovsky for the Panthers. White die cut. Fox rookie. Suzuki rookie. And Coolman rookie for Boston Rangers and Montreal. That was a nice pack. Rookie of Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Flurry for the Habs. Zadina for the Red Wings. McCav short print pink for the Maple Leafs. Tavares red die cut for the Maple Leafs. Myers for the Flyers. Yeah, a two packs in a row with everything. Frederick for the Boston Bruins. Top 50 of Wallstrom for the Islanders. Rookie of McCav for the Leafs. And a green quartz number to 99 of Flurry for the Habs. Green quartz. We've got a winter storm warning of Gallagher for the Habs. Quinn Hughes, white die cut for the Vancouver Canucks. Lesperance for Dallas. That's a lot of cards for a box. I feel like the lure is slightly underappreciated in the hobby. I really do. Value for box. I think it's a very underappreciated box. We've got a rookie of Veranu for the Sens. Top 50 of L'Esperance for the Stars. Rookie jersey of Bastion for the Devils. And a Wallstrom for the Islanders. Rookie. Rookie of Pitlick for the Preds. Short print of Grunstrom for the Kings. Jimmy Scholes for the Vegas Golden Knights. White die cut. And a paling rookie for the Habs. Top 50 of Elvis, Mers Lickens for the Jackets, Anders Lee, Red Die Cut. I think they missed, uh, missed position this one. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. For the Islanders, Dobson for the Islanders, Rookie, and a Max Jones Rookie for the Ducks. Rookie of Makar for the Avalanche. We got a short print of Zadina for the Red Wings. A blue line auto rookie jersey to 99. Numbered 64 of 99, Ilya Makayev. It's only fitting, right? Glenn, will I be watching it? Yes. Will I be paying for it? No. Sandine for the Maple Leafs. Top 50 of Bluger for the Penguins. Barzol for the Islanders white die cut. Sunny Shin for the Boston Bruins. We've got a iced out of Cody Glass for Vegas. White die cut of Larkin for the Red Wings. That is such a money grab fight. It's, it's just embarrassing in my opinion. Top 50 of Farabee for the Philadelphia Flyers. Matt Murray for the Penguins Red. And a Nico Sturm for the Minnesota Wild. Texier for the Blue Jackets. Winter Storm for the Oilers McDavid. Alex Tuck, red for the Vegas Golden Knights. Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres. Realistically, I feel like it's already kind of like agreed upon. That's not going to be a fight fight. The reason I do say that is is realistically no commission would ever sanction a fight like that. It would not make any sense for a commission to sanction a guy who's fought, what, three times, twice, once, against literally one of the best boxers of all time. Capo Caco for the Rangers rookie. Top 50 of Dobson for the Islanders. Top 50 jersey. For the Blues, McEachern, and a Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Short print, Dobson uh, for the Islanders. Orange slice for the Preds of Duchesne. Rookie Breezebois for the Canucks. Top 50 of uh, Veranu for the Auto Senators. 
Price white die cut for the Habs. McEwen for the Vancouver Canucks. Jimmy Schultz for the Vegas Golden Knights. Winter Storm of Monaghan for the Calgary Flames. Rookie of Lazat for the Kings. And a top 50 rookie auto, Max Jones for the Ducks. When is that fight? Is that this week, next week? Dante Fabro for the Preds. Top 50 of Zadina for the Red Wings. Lungfist white die cut for the Rangers. Patch, or sorry, Myers for the Flyers, short print pink. We've got a paling red die cut for the Montreal Canadiens. Cody Glass, rookie for the Golden Knights. We've got an Abramov for the Ottawa Senators, rookie. Top 50 of Lazat for the Kings. Rookie of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. And a green quartz of Gibson to 99 for the Ducks. We've got a short print pink of Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Giordano white die cut for the Calgary Flames. I, I agree that Paul has nothing to lose in this fight. Whichever one it is. But I, I just feel like it's such a stupid fight, honestly. Entertaining, sure. Stupid, yes. June 6th, okay. I'll be right back, folks. Yeah, but here's the honest thing with the McGregor fight. McGregor at least has decent striking. He has fought real fighters. He actually is a good striker. And as much as I love MMA, at the end of the day, I do believe firmly, 100% wholeheartedly, I believe Mayweather was just toying with him for the beginning. I legit think it was... You gotta remember, Mayweather's very smart financially, and he's a very smart man in general. If he destroyed McGregor, it literally would never there. It would leave a not no sorry. It would leave no opportunity for a rematch ever. If it was somewhat close, at least they could run it back down the road. But I I honestly firmly believe. Uh, Mayweather coasted in the beginning just to kind of coast. Uh, I'm going to do the platinum next, folks. Because I have platinum here, so. I, I don't know, Luke, in all honesty, and this is, again, this is my opinion. I don't know if he could have crushed McGregor in the first couple rounds, but I definitely think he could have ended it a lot sooner than the 10th. I just don't know if it would have been like the 5th, 6th, 4th, but I definitely think he could have when he wanted to. Because McGregor Fresh is still a strong fighter. McGregor Tired, different animal. And that's what it was, but is known for not trying. Well, I said, if you're that confident, right? Like, in all honesty, that's the thing. I, I don't know. I would love to know if this is getting properly sanctioned as well as or, or is in an exhibition fight. These exhibition fights are also deemed slightly different.
Either way, I don't understand other than watching Paul, but like, in all honesty, I don't think Mayweather's going to kill the uh, the Paul guy, whatever his name is. Is it Jake Paul or Luke Paul or Logan Paul? Logan, I think it is. Paul Logan, I don't know. One of those guys. I, I honestly feel he will drag it out again because he can. My, my gut also tells me is I would not be surprised if they're already in talks with the other guy, the other brother. And they'll basically like... Mayweather will defeat the one brother and the other brother will be upset about it and then he's gonna fight him So that's easy money twice for them So I'm calling that right now by the way Well in advance that that's my call Here we go 14,401 the randoms one two three Copy paste Three. Copy. Paste. D's has Carolina, Florida. Tiger, Arizona. D's has Nashville, New Jersey. Blaze has Philly. Connor, Washington. We's got St. Louis, Chicago, and Pittsburgh. Blaze, Columbus. Laird's got Dallas. We's got Detroit. D's has San Jose. CSA's got Tampa. We's got Minnesota. D's has Islanders. Hockey fan, Calgary. D's has Ottawa, Boston, Vancouver. Spades got Rangers. Connor, Toronto. D's has Montreal, Tigers got Colorado, Hockey Fan Winnipeg, CSA Buffalo, Wee's got LA, Spade Anaheim, Laird, Ed Money. Ed Money! Good luck. Alright, Adrian, do you want me to crush that box? I have two minutes for, uh... So here we go, folks. We're going to do a little personal break in between. So everyone wish him the best of luck. I guess we'll find out what uh, this is all about. Either way, I'm happy we get to, to open one. Here we go. Artifacts Golf for Adrian. Let's crush this. Ba -da -da. Again, I will ship all the base tier. Oh, that's a healthy start. <laughs> We've got an Orum autograph of Nikolai Hoygaard to 99. Orum signatures Hoygaard. Again, I'm not too big into golf, so if any of those are big, let me know. I'll be, I can freak out a little more for you. We've got a hole in one jersey, Mark Wilson. Or jersey, shirt. Shirt. I'm too used to hockey. We've got an Orum of Byron Nelson. Orum, Byron Nelson. We've got a rookie number due nine ninety nine of Justin's. 
Sue Sa Rookie to nine and nine. Another rookie to nine ninety nine of Austin Cook. And Adrian, by the way, if you want any of these cards graded, let me know. Because we can get that done for you as well. And I do recommend it, newer product. We've got another rookie of C Woo Kim. Whoever does their cutting sometimes really needs to improve. See Wu Kim. We've got a red to two forty nine of Francesco Milarni. 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 Two forty nine. Molinari, maybe Molinari. And big finish. Hell yeah. I don't know if it's a good one, but it could be very good. Number six of ten. Rookie auto. Rasmus Hoygaard. Six of ten. Rasmus Hoygaard. Damn. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to say, you had two autographs on Hoy Guard, guys. So, hopefully he's, uh, no. Hoygaard, the first guy, you had Nikolai. Second guy was Rasmus. Are this they're not the same. Or am I wrong on that? Are they the same guy or? Because the first guy was Nikolai. Second guy was Rasmus. So, either way, as long as you're happy, congrats. I hope, uh, I hope it's, uh, they all sell crazy good for you. I really do. You know one of them's good, that's all that matters in, right? As long as one of them's good. Alright, now we're gonna do platinum, see if we can get the other guy who's apparently really good. McDavid. Here we go, starting off CNC break 14,401. We've got the platinum. Platinum is good. All right, Connor, show yourself. We've got a retro of Bacchus for the Blues, Olmark for the Buffalo Sabres. Rainbow Retro Rookie, Poirier for Calgary, Domi for the Coyotes, Marky Rookie. We've got a Panarin for the Hawks, Marky Rookie. And we've got a orange rainbow retro number to 49, Patrick Kane. I got it all aside for you, Adrian. No worries, sir. All aside for you. Again, congrats on the box. That is awesome. Makes me very happy. Tracks rookie of Lear for the Flyers. Shore for the LA Kings. And again, if any of you guys want any cards graded, let me know. We've got a Bennett for the Calgary Flames, Marky Rookie. 
And a retro gold rainbow rookie of Ronald Keenan's Vancouver. Ronald Keenan's. Tracks of Lucic for the LA Kings. Does anyone think that they somewhat benched Marner because of the play he did last game? We've got a white ice number to 199, Mike McCarron. Mike McCarron, white ice for the Habs. Team logos of Dubnik for the Minnesota Wild. Hail a buck for the Jets. Uh, 402 has not, no. Superstars OV for the Caps. For Reiko for the Blues. We've got an Andrew Cop for the Winnipeg Jets. And a rookie auto of Della Rose for the Habs. Della Rose. Montreal Canadiens. Retro for the Hawks, Patrick Kane. Team logos of Rene for the Preds. Vertan and Marky rookie for the Canucks. They are, that's amazing. Retro of Hammond for the Sens. Galiev, uh, Marky rookie for the Caps. Well, there you go. Is there a better of the two? Rainbow of Mason for the Flyers. Rainbow rookie Larkin for the Red Wings. Shore for the Dallas Stars. Rainbow of Anders Lee for the Islanders. And a Lindbergh for the Rangers. Rainbow of Bobby Ryan for the Sens. Hartman for the Hawks. Retro of Bobby Hall for the Chicago Blackhawks. Houdon for the Habs. Rick Nash retro for the Rangers. Ehlers rookie for the Jets. Retro Bernier for the Maple Leafs. All right. We've got a retro rookie of Fabry for the Blues. Mike McCarron for the Habs. Retro Rainbow Perry for the Ducks. Retro rookie of Panarin for the Hawks. Matt Murray for the Penguins. Trax rookie of Condon for the Habs. Brendan Gauntz for the Vancouver Canucks. Rookie of McGinn for Carolina. Trax of Schwartz for the Blues. Sprong for the Penguins. White Ice. For the Buffalo Sabres of Gergensen's to 199. White ice. Gergensen's. Team logos of again left for the Avalanche. McGinn. Again. For the Canes. White Irontanen, uh, rookie for the Avalanche. White Ice of Eberly for the Oilers to 199. Jordan Eberly.
Team logos of Datsuk for the Red Wings. We've got an Athanasiu for the Red Wings, Marky Rookie. And a Trax Rookie Auto, Shane Prince. Trax Rookie Auto, Shane Prince, number to 125. That's beautiful. We've got a retro for the Wild of Parise and Fukali for the Montreal Canadiens. Team logos for the Buffalo Sabres of Ennis. Gustav Olafsson for the Minnesota Wild. Team a retro Vorchek for the Flyers. Della Rose for the Habs. Marky Rookie. Rainbow Dowdy for the Kings, Stevenson for the Caps. Rainbow Rookie McCann for Vancouver, and a Matthias Janmark for the Dallas Stars, Marky Rookie. Rainbow of Pacioretty for the Montreal Canadiens. Rainbow of Miller for the Canucks, Hannafin for the Canes. Retro rookie Shane Prince for the Ottawa Senators. And big finish of a retro Monahan for Calgary, Donskoy, San Jose. Not a bad one. The tracks, uh, tracks rookie was nice. I like those ones. Very nice. By the way, the Chancer is down to 13 left. Ultimate is down to 3 to go. And SB Game use 5. So all of these can get done tonight, folks. I would love that. Crush tonight. Let's get them all going. Next up is going to be 400. And I gotta go grab that. And after that, Caleb, do you want me to do your artifacts box now or a bit later? Getting a random ready, so I apologize, guys. Here we go 14,400, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Wally's got Carolina, Ramsey, Anaheim, R2D2's got San Jose. Scott Dallas, Brian's got Calgary, Jordan's got St. Louis, Ashley Columbus, Brian's got Tampa, Boog's got Colorado, Z Bruce Pittsburgh, Ramsey Washington, Rookie Wookie, Buffalo, Shutter's got Ottawa, Ramsey's got Nashville Rangers, Brian Florida, Jordan Arizona, Brian's got Philly, Boog's got Ed Money, R2 Montreal, Johnny's got Chicago, Wally Winnipeg, Wookie's got Boston, Brian's got Toronto, Z Bruce Minnesota, Scott Islanders, Brian's Vancouver, Shutter, New Jersey, Ashley, Detroit, Johnny, L.A. <laughs> All right, so three and three out of ten. Okay. I'll be right back, folks.
All right, I'm guessing no trades. Is that correct, ladies and gentlemen? I feel a sneeze coming along. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Trades report. Or we're ready to rock and roll, folks. I'm taking that as no trades. All right, good luck. Here we go, 14,400. We've got the Series 1, Series 2. Six, 10, break. for Philadelphia, rookie, and a Panarin Dazzlers for the Rangers. Young Guns Canvas of Joseph for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Young Guns Canvas of Joseph. Face. Canvas of Patterson for Vancouver. Young Guns, Peyton Kreps for Vegas. Dazzlers, Ovechkin for the Caps. Are any of the Maple Leaf players back tonight, by the way? The injured ones. Portraits of Velarde for the LA Kings. And a Robertson Young Guns for Dallas. That was a solid box. Two Dazzlers, three Young Guns. <laughs> Tin down. Tin down. of Zabinashad for the Rangers. Man, you guys are quiet tonight, eh? Playoffs tomorrow, people. Come on. Can't be quiet. Canvas of Kyle Connor for the Jets. Young Guns Gabe Velarde, L.A. Young Guns of Zagadulin for the Calgary Flames. Dazzlers Patterson for the Canucks. Canvas of Huberdo for the Panthers. And a Carl 
Carlson for the Hawks. Lucas Carlson. Yeah, too much to drink. We've got a portrait of Ovechkin for the Caps. Canvas of He Shear for the Devils. Young Guns for the Rangers of Kraftsov. Young Guns of Connor Ingram for the Preds. Dazzlers of Warinsky for the Jackets. Matthews Canvas for the Maple Leafs. Base. Base. And a Karushev, Young Guns, for the Hawks. All right, I'll do all the packs at the end, the bonus packs. Keep it nice and fun. Canvas for the Philadelphia Flyers, Carter Hart. Award winners, blue of Dre Seidel, Jack Hughes, Dazzlers for the Devils. Portrait of Carlson for the Hawks. Braden Burke for the Coyotes, Young Guns. Quinny Young Guns for Vegas. Portraits of Zag Adulin for the Calgary Flames. Rookie, uh, sorry, Marky Rookie of Skinner for the Oilers. And a Vanisek for the Caps. We've got a Portraits Rookies of Reed Duke for Vegas. Leonard Young Guns for the Sharks. Dazzlers of Jones for the Jackets. And a Rookie Jersey, Alexander True. San Jose. Marky Rookie of Marshman for the Florida Panthers. Canvas for the Dallas Stars, Jamie Benn. Oh, 
Award winners, Retro Bobby Ryan for the Ottawa Senators. Young Guns, Pui Suter for the Hawks. Canvas of Subban for the Preds. And Marky Rookie Blue of Ostamenko. Chatfield for the Vancouver Canucks. Ooh, nice. Young Guns Canvas of Sharon Golvich. New Jersey Devils, Sharon Golvich. Marky Rookie. Yo, Levy for the Canucks. Portrait of Krapsov for the Rangers. Canvas, the Kachuk brothers. French variant young guns of Mikola. Mikola for the Blues. Portrait of Regula for the Hawks. Marky Rookie of Re uh, Mikola Husband for the Blues. Ma Bowen Byron Marky Rookie Retro. And a Washington Capitals Dazzlers of Connor McMichael. The Glossies. Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Robertson for goals for the Leafs, and a Byram for the Avalanche. Lafreniere, gold for the Rangers, Harley for the Dallas Stars, and a gold of Bowen Byram for the Avs. That's a really good one. Byram for the Avalanche, McMichael for the Ray, uh, sorry for the Caps, and another Lafreniere gold. Holy jeez for the Rangers. Robertson for the Dallas Stars, glossy foodie for the Jackets. Martin caught gold for the Avalanche. Bellows for the Islanders. Evans gold for the Habs. Martin Cott for the Avalanche. Can Cott go three for three here, folks? Let's find out. Evans for the Habs. Gold of Josh Norris for the Sens. And a Bellows for the Islanders. No. No, he did not. Fourteen thousand four hundred. All right, that was fun. All right, series one and series two random. By the way, Chronology is at three left, Ultima is at two left, SP Gaming is at five left now. I just got to do a couple cancellations of spots, folks, so give me a few seconds. Yeah, very nice finish for Rangers, eh?
so the next breaks is 402. Series 1 and Series 2. Ramsey, we're literally like several spots away and they're all small. I, I feel like if one or two people can just grab a spot, it'll really just get it done. I believe we can do it. Fourteen thousand four oh two one two three Coffee Paste One Two Three Coffee Paste Ramsey New Jersey Bob's got Florida Grimm's got Washington Big John Carolina Johnny Vegas Scott San Jose Minnow Arizona Jordan Dallas Ramsey Chicago Jeff's got Ed Money Killers got Tampa Toronto Big John Pittsburgh Mario Detroit, Killer Islanders, Calmar Boston, Killer Rangers, Cody Buffalo, Ramsey LA, Bob's got Winnipeg, Calmar Vancouver, uh, LT's got St. Louis, No Sparks Colorado, Link Anaheim, Tiger Columbus, Link Philly, Burps Calgary, Calmar Ottawa, Bullseye Nashville Montreal, Rush has Minnesota. I know, I did. I'm hoping it goes tonight as well. I agree. So I definitely want to see it go. All right, 30 more seconds for trading, folks. So, I guess we'll start. I guess we will start. And again, folks, here's the rest of the breaks for tonight. A lot of them are moving quite nicely. Chronology, three left. The Chancer, nine left. Ultimate, two left. Spagoo, five left. We can still get all those done. So, good luck, everyone. Here we go, 14,402. We've got the... Four box break, series one, series two. It's almost like the Tim's, but it's different. It's the same, but different.
We've got a Young Guns for the Avalanche, Shane Bowers. So we'll check this one for a second. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Perfect. Shane Bowers. We've got a French variant of Tatar for the Habs. Liam Foodie, Young Guns for the Blue Jackets. Portrait of Aho for the Canes. Predominant of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Predominant of Patterson for Vancouver. Canvas of Point. For Tampa. Canvas of Cool Balik for the Hawks. Yeah. See you Sunday, man. Is that search thing working now? No, I'm still on. Okay. Oh, like, That's fine. It is what it is. Yeah. Hughes for the Devils. Debut. We've got a retrospective rookie jersey. Elvis Mers Lickens Rookie Retrospectives Worldwide of Aho for the Canes Portraits of Shen for the Blues Bowen Byram for the Avalanche Young Guns. Bowen Byram. Joe Hansen. Come on, you. Young Guns for the Buffalo Sabres. We've got a Jack Hughes for the Devils. Canvas. Game Jersey. Tarasenko for the Blues. Tarasenko. Alexiev Young Guns for the Caps. Portrait of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Rookie Retrospect of Farabee for the Flyers. Dazzlers of Schmaltz for the Coyotes. Debut of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Portrait of Hellebuck for the Jets. Coglin Young Guns for Vegas. And a Vander Kane for the Sharks Canvas. We've got a Martin Cott Young Guns for the Avalanche. Worldwide of Pasternak for Boston. Young Guns Broberg for the Oilers. Young Guns Canvas Karushev for the Hawks. Rushev, Chicago. 
Young Guns of McLeod for the Oilers. Canvas for the Blues of Pareko. Dazzlers for the Winnipeg Jets. Kyle Connor. Can or sorry, Young Guns. Zagadulin for Calgary. Portrait for Florida of Barkov. Predominant of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. Kopitar, LA Kings Canvas. French variant of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Predominant of Tatar for the Montreal Canadiens. Game Jersey, Yandel for the Panthers. Rookie Retrospective, Fox. For the Rangers. Portrait of Evans for the Habs. Debut of Sam Sonov for the Caps. Portrait for Vancouver of Patterson. Worldwide of Tatar for the Habs. Canvas for the Preds, Ryan Johansson. Bellows, Young Guns for the Islanders. Dazzlers, Pink of the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Stone. Young Guns Lafreniere Lafreniere Young Guns Beautiful Congrats for the Rangers And a portrait of Bergeron for Boston to the series two now. Portrait of Belzil for the Habs. Marky Rookie of Crapsaw for the Rangers. Hawk and Pa Young Guns for the Ducks. Marky Rookie of Bowers for the Avs. Canvas of Gensel for the Penguins. Roman Yossi for Nashville award winners. Letnov Young Guns for the Sharks. Canvas of Duncan Keith for the Hawks. Dazzlers of Lilligran for the Maple Leafs. Radish Young Guns for the Rangers. Depends on what he's asking for, honestly. We've got a fluorescence of Connor Ingram for Nashville. Like if he's aiming for seven or eight million, I don't I just don't think it's possible. If he's gonna be reasonable and I think we can afford him, I like him. Marky rookie of Alexia for the caps. 
Philip Mallet, Young Guns for the Caps. Marky Rookie for the Avalanche, Frank Hoos. It's very possible. Young Guns Canvas, Keandre Miller. And maybe it might be a, just a negotiation of, do you want to stay in Toronto or do you not want to stay in Toronto? Award winners of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Portraits rookies for the Oilers of Skinner. Portraits of Connor Ingram for the Preds. Connor McMichael for the Caps. Retro Marky rookie. Hoaglander Young Guns for Vancouver. I, was, I don't think they will lose him, honestly. Foot Young Guns for Tampa, but I do agree, like, if he starts asking ridiculously amount of money, never know, right? Dazzlers Pink of Seth Jones for the Jackets. Canvas of uh, Forsberg for the Preds. Oh, I don't know, but well, who knows? Marky Rookie Blue. Oh, Stevenko for Philly. And a portrait of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. I don't know if Sandine can uh, replace him, uh, what do you call it? Easily. I, I feel like he's a very good uh, dressing room type player to have. I feel like you can't just replace those guys that easily. Portrait of True for the Sharks. Marky Rookie of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Dazzlers of Konechny for the Philadelphia Flyers. And we've got Achievers Canvas, Retired Canvas for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie for the Hawks of Karushev. Portrait of Broberg for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Kibaranta for the Dallas Stars. Shane Bowers Marky Rookie Retro for the Avalanche. Marner for the Maple Leafs canvas. Did they say is Hyman playing tonight or no? Nitsov Young Guns for the Sharks. Portrait rookie, the bird for the Jets. Muzzin for the Maple Leafs. French variant. Sharon Govich Young Guns for the Devils. Is Hyman up this year as well? Award winners of Hedman for Tampa. Or are they next year? Fabry Canvas for Detroit. He's not playing? Okay. Nathan McKinnon. Award winners for the Avs. San Young Guns for the Devils. Philip Mallet, Young Guns for the Caps. Is he expected to play for playoffs though? Because I know it's about a week away. Rookie jersey of Joseph. Pittsburgh Penguins. Joseph, rookie jersey. Marky, rookie of Coughlin for Vegas. Portrait of Harley for Dallas. Roman of Young Guns for the Maple, or sorry, for the Montreal Canadiens. I have not Mason, not yet. Barzol Canvas for the Islanders. 
Stutzel and Cousins. Checklist, young man. But I definitely will. Exclusives to 100 of Kyle Connor for the Jets. And a marquee rookie blue of Burke for the Coyotes. Let me just get the one random going here. But I absolutely will be betting on some of them. If not all of them. The randoms. One, two, three. The Sabres. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a few minutes. Just going to update some stuff in the back end, and then uh, I want to heat up uh, one of my sandwiches I have. So, again, I will just be a couple minutes. What? Oh, wait. Didn't the Leafs already win the no uh, North? So you already have that one, right? Oh, they just haven't paid it yet. Fair enough. I was going to say, I was like, that's, that's guaranteed, is it not? <laughs> Congrats, man. What were the odds on those? I'm kind of curious to see what the Matthews odds and the Leafs odds were. I would presume those were the favorites, right? Or among the favorites. But man, good job. That's that's some beast mode betting there. I'm just tweeting it. Yeah. Damn it, me and my tweets. Alright, so give me one second, guys. I'm going to see what's up uh, next. Ultimate's at one left. So I'm going to do the uh, double up. I'm going to do the random. Quickly heat up my food. Be back for that bad boy. I think I brought the... Oh, that's the one right there. Okay, good. So what is that odds? Uh, minus is that minus three hundred for the uh, Leafs to win, and minus five hundred for uh, Matthews. Just so I know how it kind of works. Fourteen thousand four oh six. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Nate's got Buffalo, DB Pittsburgh. Nate's got LA. Link's got Winnipeg. R. Clark, St. Louis. Van, 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 sorry, Van, Florida. Wee's Nashville. Jeff, Ed, Money. Nate, Dog, Islanders. Van's got Chicago. D's has Calgary. R. Clark, Tampa. Groves got Boston. Scott, New Jersey. Groves got Minnesota. R. Clark, Carolina. Scott, Toronto. Weeds got San Jose. R. Clark, Arizona. Fells got Philly and Ottawa. Link, Vancouver. Jeff's got Rangers. Groves got Washington. Weeds got Dallas. Groves got Columbus. Nate, Detroit. DB, Anaheim. D's has Montreal. Weeds got Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, good for you, Mason. That's awesome, man. That's two great bets. I'll be right back, folks.
<laughs> I like that. I like that mentality. That's too funny, Mason. That was too funny. All right, give me a couple seconds, folks, before I start this break officially. They are so. What are they going for now, Mason? I haven't. Uh, I haven't checked in about the last month. And guys, I apologize. I'm just getting the break. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, EMT is ready for. I think the chancer might be ready to go after this. No way. 15, 20 grand, really? Like, actually selling for that much? No way. Here we go. 14,406. We've got the double up break. Jeez. Are they actually selling for that much, though? Or are people asking that much? Portrait of Larkin for the Red Wings. Young Guns for the Philadelphia Flyers. Carson Twarinski. That's insane. Canvas of Zajac for the Devils. They're actually selling. Libor Hayek for the Rangers. <laughs> Portraits of Na not Nash. Rene for the Nashville Predators. There you go. Wow. And a shooting stars of Flurry for the Golden Knights. Grunstrom, LA Kings, Glossy. Max Jones, Gold for the Anaheim Ducks. Brandstrom, Glossy for the Ottawa Senators. Oh my gosh. Is that U.S. or Canadian, Mason? We've got a blue of Mantha for the Red Wings and a rookie authentics of Comtois for the Ducks. We've got a JVR for the Flyers blue. Profiles of Carey Price for the Habs. Galchenyuk for the Coyotes blue. Rookie authentics of Donato for the Boston Bruins. Blue of Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights. Rookie of Borgstrom for the Panthers. Can I, okay, good. Rookie of La Joie for the Sens. Well, I have one still, Mason. I'm going to be keeping it long term for my, uh, my personal set. Kyle Connor for the Jets. Blue. Rookie Authentics. 
of Howden for the Rangers. Oh my gosh. Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Blue and a Carlson Profiles for the Vegas Golden Knights. Ron Dunnan for the Avalanche Blue. Rookie of Zobrol for the Boston Bruins. And a Darlene to 1999. Sorry, 1199 rookie. Buffalo Sabres. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. I'm kind of curious, presuming McDavid and Matthews go on. Longfist red for the Rangers, Rowney blue for the Penguins. Exceptional Hosang for the Islanders. What their values are going to get at second and third rounds. How high. Hayden Fleury red for the Carolina Hurricanes. White for the Sens blue. And black players of Atkinson for the Jackets. Backstrom red for the Caps. Broder Green for the Devils. Newcomers of Kempe for the Kings. You imagine what they do if they make the finals or the semis. One of those guys. We've got a Getzlaff for the Ducks. Impact players of Line A for the Jets. Cast for greatness for the Coyotes of Keller. Ramsey, have a good night, sir. Cast for greatness. We've got a Beret red for the Vancouver Canucks. Stammer blue for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Heedle for the Rangers. Domi red for the Coyotes. Subban blue for the Preds. Exceptional talent of Nylander for the Buffalo Sabres. Kempe for the LA Kings red. We got a Madison Bowie for the Capitals blue. And a Landy McDonald career spanning. I, see, I, I don't know. Tim Heed for the San Jose Sharks red. We've got a bossy for the Islanders blue. Impact players of Wheeler for the Jets. I, I'm holding off all my Matthews in all honesty until the playoffs. No matter what. I might put some up like in the first round at a ridiculously high price. Like ridiculously high price. In hopes that people will... Uh, jump on it for speculation, but yeah, that's crazy. Top 50 for the Avalanche, Makar, rookie jersey of Varanu for the Sens, Jack Hughes, rookie for the Devils. I bet your acetate would probably be like 5-10 Gs. Brandstrom for the Ottawa Senators, rookie, Bastion for the Devils, rookie, short print of Sturm for the Wild, glass die cut white for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, rookie, Fox for the Rangers, Suzuki for the Habs. We've got a Kirby Doc for the Hawks, uh, rookie. Fleury for the Habs, rookie. Top 50 of Schuld for the Vegas Golden Knights. Hurdle, Red Dyke for the Sharks. Coolman for the Boston Bruins. Myers for the Flyers. Uh, Habs, if you're happy with that price, I would say sure it's not bad. Zadina for the Red Wings rookie. Frederick for the Boston Bruins rookie. For the record of Rask for the Boston Bruins. McKayev rookie for the Leafs. And a blue line auto numbered to 35 of Dabrinkat for the Hawks. Alex Dabrinkat. Nice. Good for you guys. We've got a top 50 of Grundstrom for the LA Kings. Braden Point, white die cut for the Tampa Lightning. Les Perals for the Dallas Stars. We've got a Goudreau, iced out for the Calgary Flames. Herosi, white die cut for the Maple Leafs. Or for the Red Wings, I don't know why I said Maple Leafs again. Maybe I'm watching the TV too much. Top 50 of Hag for Vegas. We got a rookie of Faraby for the Flyers, Grunstrom for the Kings, and a green quartz of 99 of Sagan for the Dallas Stars.
Have you pulled any? No, I have not, Mason. I want to so badly. Rookie of Kako for the Rangers. Open Ice of Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. Olafson Red Rookie for the Buffalo Sabres. And a Ball Sirs for the Sens. I ha I don't think any. I don't think Ashley either. But yeah, I don't think we've opened up the uh, the Matthews Rookie Young Guns or the McDavid. So I am uh, really hoping we do at one point. Because those are beasts. I'm still debating if I want to buy that Matthews or not. He's not really a true rookie, but I love it. I really do. We've got for the LA Kings jersey patch emerald rookie of Mikey Anderson. Jersey patch 99, Mikey Anderson. Orum of Kopitar for LA. $2.99 connect me for Philly. But in all honesty, Habs, if you're looking to sell, wait for the playoffs. Literally wait for the playoffs. $4.99 for the Devils, Jack Hughes. The reason I say that is if it's looking like that they're going to get eliminated, then I would put up for sale. Dual jersey of Grubauer for the Avalanche to 175 Yager for the Penguins. But if it looks like they're going to make second, third round type thing, that's when you want to sell it. 75 Bellows for the Islanders. Rookie Redemption, Winnipeg Jets. And we got a 175 for the Canes. Dougie Hamilton. Again, that's just my opinion. And I will be putting up some of my Matthews doubles on eBay at ridiculously high pricing deliberately because of the playoffs. No other reason other than that. And if nobody buys them, no biggie. But if they start making a second, third round type thing, that's not bad. We've got an embedded endorsements to 99 for the wild Ryan Suter. Ryan Suter. <laughs> in, in all honesty, eight feet, I don't believe, let me, let me try to phrase this properly, okay? I do not believe Edmonton's a better team. But any team that has McDavid, that scares me. I think Toronto should wipe the floor out of Edmonton. But a motivated McDavid scares the living hell out of me. And I feel like he could I feel like he could win the Stanley Cup single-handedly. So yes, I do think McDavid this year might just do some insane stuff. For the sake of the hobby, in all honesty, 8 feet, a perfect scenario legitimately would be Leafs and Oilers go to second round so that way either Matthews or McDavid are in the semifinals. It's great for TV. It'd be great for the hobby. So ideally, that would be amazing. Again, I'm sure you're not happy to hear that as a Jets fan. Habs fans wouldn't be happy to hear that, but again... Only thinking about the hobby on that side, it would be amazing to have either McDavid or Matthews in the semifinals. That would just be awesome for the, uh, the industry. The already crazy industry would just get a little crazier. We're getting the chance already, folks. Well, Habs, it's not exactly like you have a bad product either way, right? The higher the uh, future watch keeps going, the higher that box is going to keep going. So it's not exactly a, uh, 
a bad problem that you have in front of you. That's the good news. All right. So good luck in the Chancer, guys and girls. Here we go. The Chancer, 14,407. Three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Let's see where the first one is. The McDavid Star Rookies goes to Eric. Brian gets the Bobby Orr out of 25 auto. Congrats. The Marner goes to B Powers. The oversized young gun goes to Swin of the Lardy. And Dave1118 gets the Robertson oversized. Congrats. As long as you don't find out, that would, uh, yeah. Guy to, oh, buys it, opens it. I got the McDavid. Black Future Watch Auto. No, 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 no. Eight feet in all honesty. What What's your gut telling you on Winnipeg? How, how are you, uh, how are you going to do? All right, three, seven, two. The ultimate, that's gonna be nice, uh, short and sweet, folks. Here we go, 14,372, the ultimate. Good luck. All right, so let's say Ehlers doesn't come back, and let's say Ehlers does come back. What's what's your guesses on both? The Jets have a chance, in your opinion? Should they win? Could they win? Or are you counting them out for the most part? Is McDavid is McDavid too much. We start off number 26 of 35, Billy Smith. 26 of 35, Billy Smith. Number 21, so the one spot, Sundin Clark. Dual jersey, Sundin and Clark. And we've got number 25 of 25 time capsules auto, Patrick Waugh. The five spot, nice. Yeah, sadly, I, I feel like, my opinion on that series, I feel like uh, it's gonna be Oilers in five or six. Number three of nine signatures, Bill Gatsby. Three spot. Three spot. We've got numbered eight of 40, so the eight spot, Red Kelly. As long as you're honest about uh, things, Mason, I don't think it's biased. I like the Leafs, and I do believe the Leafs will win in six. I don't think I'm biased, I just think it's honest. We've got a Ultimate Journey Quad Memorabilia, numbered five of five. Phil Esposito. Here we go. Like, in all honesty, as I said, the McDavid factor alone scares the hell out of me, even if the Leafs play him in the second round. McDavid has been on just a different tear the last, like, month or two. And that that is not cool. I honestly am scared for any team that plays McDavid right now. 
I think the guy is rolling. I think he's as good as he's ever been in his career, which is also very scary. I, I just don't see... Uh, there's not a lot of positives for any teams playing McDavid right now. It's how many... It's not whether, he, you know, he can leave him off the score sheets. Can you leave him off and not get three points or four points? Maybe limit him to two points or one point. And again, I'm not saying the Leafs are going to win, but the Leafs absolutely should win. And by the way, it's, at, it's around 9.45, or it is 9.45 actually, so if you guys want chronology to go, folks, there's only one spot left. So we're going to do a 388, and then maybe chronology after, but it needs to be filled up, folks. Oh, what's going on with that one? Oh, it's you 8 feet? Okay. So 8 feet, you're, uh, you're taking the SP game news, correct? Just want to make sure before I mark it. Send it, I'll get Buford. Uh, what team are you talking about, 8 feet? Just so I know what conversation we're having. Alright, 388. Alright, good. Oh, I got a red box. Good luck. Here we go, 14,388. We've got the Spooko five box break. The Leafs? I absolutely think the Leafs are a better team than Montreal, in my opinion. And I do think that they would beat Edmonton. For the Penguins, the 265, Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby. Number to 299, gold rookie of Reed Duke for the Vegas Golden Knights. 299, Reed Duke. Oh, that's a nice one. Ink sweaters patch auto number to 10 for Vancouver, Elias Patterson. Ink sweaters patch Auto out of 10 for Vancouver, Pedersen. That's sexy. That's going to be a picture. For the Islanders, Bellows. The way I would look at that eight feet, I know what you just said about Toronto. Boston Bruins jersey, Pasternak, and a banner year of Barzil for the Islanders. Tell me what Montreal is honestly better at than Toronto right now. And I'm not saying that to... To be rude to Montreal, but I don't think they outscore Toronto. Defensively, do you honestly think Montreal is much better defensively than Toronto? And Carey Price is better. I will give him that if he's playing. That I will give. For the Dallas Stars, 265, Jamie Benn. So realistically, I don't think Montreal should be a problem. Number to 40, authentic rookie of Yasik for the Vancouver Canucks. Who's tougher, the Leafs or the Habs? Yasik. For the Hawks, Karushev, rookie sweaters to 249. We've got a headman, number to 150, relics. Um, Honestly, 8 feet, I think this is their best chance to get to the final four. That, that's how I would put it. Shane Bowers for the Avalanche, authentic rookie jersey. And a banner year of Halebuck for the Jets. 
You think the Habs are tough or interesting? Again, I'm not... It's more of just a debate. But with Simmons, Hyman, Bogosian, um, Felino, uh, I'm trying to think who else we have on our team. My head is... Uh, I think we're a pretty somewhat decent team. What, what Habs guys are... Uh, what Habs guys are tougher? I'm not saying there's none, but... 265 Barzel for the Islanders. And I honestly mean tougher. Anderson, I would give you that he's a tough dude. 165 Panarin. 165 Panarin for the Rangers. For the Hawks, rookie auto Pui Suter. Pui Suter. For the Capitals, the 150 Carlson. We've got a banner year of Victor Hedman for Tampa. Like, to me, Weber, Edmondson, and uh, Shariot is like, again, I'm not saying comparables, but Muzzin, Bogosian, and Simmons. And speaking of, Shea Weber for the Habs. I'm not trying to match them like toughness for toughness. I'm just saying they're similar. Then you got Anderson. I have him very similar to... Uh, Probably tougher than Hyman, obviously. Felino would probably maybe be Anderson, I guess. I think that's kind of a, maybe a close comparison. That I agree with you, 8 feet. I agree. For the Coyotes, 299 Soderstrom. But here's my honest thing, though. Does Edmonton, Toronto, Montreal, or Winnipeg have a the guy on D? So that's the thing. I feel like... All the teams are just say, like very similarly similarly built. Two thirty five Daniel Sedin legends for the Vancouver Canucks. For the uh, Maple Leafs, Timothy Lilligren. Like again, my straight up opinion, I feel like Winnipeg, Edmonton, Toronto are very similar teams, just slight differences in the players, but built very similar. For the Hawks, Baudin. The only down... I, I honestly do have Montreal a tier below everyone. Belzeal for the Habs. But not a knock at them. I think Montreal in a couple of years will be a beast. And a banner year of Forsberg for the Preds. So it doesn't surprise me. And a Kachuk for the Sens. Let me put it this way. It would not surprise me if Winnipeg, Toronto, or Edmonton made the Final Four. It would surprise me if Montreal did. But I would not be like, oh my god, I can't believe Winnipeg made it to the semis this year. I could see any of those three teams winning any of those series. Honestly, other than Montreal. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. We've got a Dallas Stars 265, Klingberg. For the Avalanche, 199 Martin Cott. And also, let's be real, 8 feet. I think Toronto's the deepest team of the bunch, too. Like, top to bottom. Oh, that's a sexy card. Stadium Series Puck. For the Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. Avalanche Puck. That's sexy. We got an Eric Stahl for the Minnesota Wild. Eric Stahl. And we've got a Latang for the Penguins. There we go. What team out of those three do you honestly have deeper than Toronto? I do not have the Habs as a deeper team. Definitely cross them off the list. Edmonton, in my opinion, I definitely do not have them. Maybe Winnipeg, but I don't know... 
don't know. I don't know if your third and fourth are as good as our third and fourth, in my opinion, but. You have eight guys to score ten goals. Yeah, again, I don't know. Let me put it this way. I don't think we blow every team out of the water, to be clear. It's not like I'm sitting there saying, I think Toronto's so much more deeper than Winnipeg a team. I just think, in my opinion, Toronto's fourth line, I would take Toronto's fourth line and third line over Winnipeg's third and fourth. But I do agree you guys have a very deep roster as well. I would have you guys the second deepest. Just my opinion on that. I would have you guys the second deepest. And I actually might have Montreal deeper than uh, Edmonton. I think uh, Montreal is actually looking stronger lately. I will be right back, folks. I got to go grab the chronology break. I don't know if it's here or not. It doesn't look like it, so I gotta go grab that. I'll be right back. One even strength. Wow, that's actually a pretty impressive stat. My, to be fair, it also depends on how many times they've been on the ice. <laughs> but that is a very impressive stat no matter how you look at it. Because there's games I feel like our fourth line for Toronto doesn't even play. Here we go. Here we go. Starting off CNC break number 14,405. Pro no lost G. I was going to say, I don't even know what Toronto's third line technically is right now. We, always, we had a lot of injuries and different players and all that fun stuff. Say again, Dallas Stars. 222. Well, that's a nice one. Franchise history auto. Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes. That's a sick. 
sexy card. We've got for the Nashville Predators, Mike Fisher. St. Louis, the, you know what? I think they're going to match up quite nicely against uh, the Avalanche. And Carolina, Sean Burke. Sean Burke. Well, you know what? It'd be, it'd, be a, it'd be an interesting conversation to go like down the line, right, of each team and go, wh who would you rather have on each player? I think it would be awfully close. Let me put it that way. We've got for the Maple Leafs, Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson. For the Buffalo Sabres, Patch Auto Timeless Memories, Sam Reinhardt. I like how O'Reilly just made that call, to be honest. I think that's a very bold call, but I, I do like that. I think that's going to motivate the troops. For the Penguins, Pronovost. Pronovost. And we got an LA Kings Capsules of Doughty. Well, you might be bummed eight feet that Toronto Winnipeg might not play in the first round, but hey, maybe we'll play in the second round. We've got a Flyers, Mark Recchi. Doesn't count. I don't think Toronto's really trying the hardest, in my opinion. Letterman, number to 15, Owen Nolan. I feel like Toronto's, like all those young guys, are the type of players that uh, they don't really care right now what's going on, which is sad. But I don't think it really matters what goes on, whether they win or lose, right? For the Sharks. Truba for the Rangers. Autograph. And we've got number to 25, Letterman Auto, Stastny for the Avalanche. Stastny for the Avalanche. And again, to be clear, eight feet, I do stand by my thing. I think Toronto should be the best of those four. But I would not be surprised with Edmonton or Winnipeg up there as well, I think. Other than Montreal, none of those three surprise me. They're all good enough to be there. Except for Montreal. Now, saying that, of course, now Montreal is going to be that one team, isn't it? 222 Suzuki for the Habs. That's always how it works. Letterman Auto to 25, William Carlson. William Carlson. For the Coyotes, Keith Kachuk. Keith Kachuk. And we've got a capsules of Kane. For the Hawks. There she goes. I again, obviously take it for what it's worth, 8 feet. Straight up is rando opinion for me. I think the second the Leafs clinched the division, I think they kind of were happy with that result. And uh, then uh, let's kind of go to the playoffs. Again, just my opinion. Not saying it's right. Maybe they tried their best. But they definitely didn't look the greatest against Ottawa. And they definitely, uh, I wouldn't say they looked lackluster tonight, but I think they're actually playing a really good game tonight. But I don't think they have that killer instinct, in my opinion. And I, I also do think, maybe I'm wrong in this stuff, I also do think some players might, same with Winnipeg, so it goes both sides, to be clear, might be playing a little more cautionate because they don't want to get injured the ga the day before, or sorry, the week before playoffs start. I, I think guys like, you know, Matthews, Ehlers, Kyle Connor, you know, they probably want to make sure they don't just destroy their team right before playoffs. Because that would not be cool for them. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I got one more box to bust for Caleb. 
Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually surprised some of these players are playing tonight. Straight up. I, I thought a lot more would be rested tonight because it's pretty much an irrelevant game, I feel. All right. Good luck, Caleb. Hummel kid. Here we go. Here we go, Hummel Kids box of 2021 artifacts. Yeah, I'm a little, like, honestly, I'm a little surprised that they played, like, the Rileys, Brodies, Matthews of, uh, for the Leafs, like, Tavares, I, I, I just, been, I don't know if it's worth the risk in my opinion, but, hey, obviously it is to them. $4.99, Corson. Ninety nine Gomez Emerald Woo, very nice retro rookie redemption Tim Stutzel Stutzel. I know they rested some because they wanted to uh Bring in, I think, a couple players, but why are you not resting more? That's what I'm saying. Remnants jersey of Holtby. That's where I'm surprised. I know they rested Marner because of some salary cap stuff, which I don't know if I fully believe that story, by the way. We've got number to 65, Ryan Suter. Jersey patch. Jersey patch, Ryan Suter. I feel like Marner, they're saying that he's resting. But I feel like that's a, uh, you messed up last game, you're going to sit, but we're going to make it seem like uh, you're resting. And an Orum, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. Guy Lafleur, $4.99. Solid box here, holy jeez. And a three ninety nine dollars red rookie. Of Lindstrom. I just don't understand why out of all the least players, why do you just rest Mitch Marner? I feel like if you're going to rest one guy, you'd be resting a lot of them. So I don't necessarily believe this is a salary cap thing. I think it's, uh, you did a horrible pass in overtime. And I want to bench you, but we're going to pretend that we're resting you so that the media doesn't throw whole kinds of stuff at you. That is my guess. I might be completely wrong. I am many, many times, apparently. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I will get the breaks up for you guys shortly for Saturday. That was a fun uh, afternoon for sure. With that being said, have yourselves a beautiful evening. Enjoy the first game of playoffs tomorrow night. And see you guys then. 8 feet, have a good one. Appreciate that very much. And keep well, sir. Good luck. Uh, hopefully I see you before the playoffs. Officially, sir, for uh, the North. We the North.